Welcome to the Sherwood Channel. Uh, my name is Gary Sherwood. Of course, my wife, Marty Sherwood, is uh, videoing this. And what we're going to do today is we already did the part of bottling the wine. Now I'm going to show you from the beginning uh, what I do, how I make the wine from the beginning. This is called a uh, uh, wine making ingredient kit. You can order this on eBay. I order different flavors. The last flavor I did was a blackberry uh, Merlot, which is very, very good. This one's a uh, blueberry. It's really good too. I'm gonna try the blueberry. I've, I've tried it before. I've made these many times, both of them. So there's a lot of steps that I skip, uh, but I'll show. I'll go through them in the directions for you so you'll know. Um, this is a wine starter making kit. I ordered this a long time ago. It's it's vintners. It's from Harvest Harvest Vintners, and uh, it has all this stuff in there to make your wine with, which includes a, a carboy and uh, an eight gallon bucket. This eight gallon bucket right here, uh, fermentation bucket, is what I use to make my wine with. It really works good. Now the first thing I want to show you is the, the, the ingredients that we're going to use to make this with first of all. In this box right here I have a base flavor and then I, ha I have a flavor pack that will be used later. The base, the base we'll use first to get the wine going and in 14 days from now, two weeks from now, I'll go ahead and put in the flavor pack and then uh, we'll show you that too. And then we'll mix it up and then we'll let the wine set. So these are the ingredients that come with this. It comes in this box, I just took them out. This is a sulfate, so, sorbate. Uh, this is a Kissel Sol, Chitosin, a Bentonite, and it comes with one pack of, of yeast. It's an EC1118. It's particular to this, this type of wine. But I use two packs because I put sugar in here. It doesn't require that, but I put sugar in here and uh, to buff up the alcohol contents when I do it for them. So we, after I showed you all this, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with the um, um, bentonite. The bentonite is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to put it in a bucket with some warm water. We're going to mix it up, and I'm going to show you this right now. We're going to do this right now. So first of all, I'm going to get some... Actually, I'm gonna put kind of hot water into it. It'll work better. All right, so I got about a gallon of water in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bit night in there. I'm not gonna mix it all up at one time. I'll mix it up a little bit at a time. And my wife's gonna be to this as I do it. Okay. I like to lean it over a little bit like this. Kind of lean it, and I'll show you. Like this. And I'll dump a little bit of it in there. Now I'll mix it. I'll agitate it, mix it up. Now it doesn't have to be all dissolved. It's natural to have a little bit of it still sticking to the sides, and, uh, but it works really good. And uh, the bit that not aids in the fermentation process, and uh, it gets rid of the proteins, some of the proteins in, in the wine. It helps it. So I saw it a bit tonight. I kind of mixed it up pretty good. As you can see, the warm water did really good. It kind of mixed it all up. Okay, now we're going to let it sit, and then I'm going to go ahead. And the next step is to put the base in it, the base pack in it. Now, just to show you, I have this right here. And this is the directions that come with it. And it's going to explain all this to you. It'll explain everything to you. And uh, it'll just tell you step by step by step what to do. And uh, so I'm going to go with the uh, the favorite packs that will be uh, used later. But this is the base pack right here. We'll go with your base pack. We'll put it in there. And the lid just pops off pretty easy. I just, uh, you just pop off like this with your hands. This comes off. But hold your neck, hold the neck tight like that so you don't get any of the juice on your clothes if you know the shoe will make a mess. Now just go in it and I pour it in there easy. And now I'm gonna add some water to it to get all the residue out. You gotta put water in any way to bring it up to the six gallon mark that I have right here. I marked this with a permanent marker. So I know where to put the, uh, the water level too. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some water here. Now I have uh, put some water here to get all the residue out of here. And we're gonna pour this in here. And normally, you would go ahead and uh, um, fill it all the way up to where you need to have it at. Um, add your yeast to it and close it off. But I add sugar to it, so I do it. Use a different process. This is not what the instructions say to do. I do this with the, the uh, alcohol content because some of the people that I give it to, I never sell the wine. Just give it to anybody who wants it. It's just a hobby, and they like they want a little bit more alcohol content. Usually, you get about nine and a half. 10% alcohol content with this type of wine. If you order a white Zeffendel out on a mission, you can get it up to almost 17%. It just depends on what type you get. So I'm opening up this right here. This is the sugar. And then what I'll do with it, I'll take this. It's like a little, I mean, I sterilize. Everything has to be sterilized. Before you do all this, make sure you got everything sterilized. And, and I sterilize it with a medical sulfate. And uh, it tells you on here, I'll explain it to you. Now I have to put my glasses on because it's hard for me to read these small words, but just to let you know, it explains everything to you. And they'll tell you right here. They have it in English and they have it, uh, uh, I think it's uh, Spanish, I'm not sure. But anyway, it tells you right here um, uh, bentonite helps the yeast activity and removes the proteins, which it does. We already talked about that already. Um, the uh, hydrometer, which we're going to use uh, later on. Is used to check the specific gravity of the wine. What it does is use uh, checks the specific gravity of your wine, and uh, during the fermentation process of of your wine, and it also gives you a, a, a probable alcohol content. It has a little right here. It has a little um, some um, some little gauges on here. It tells you what it is, and you can read it. Uh, it's not that hard to understand. Anyway. We're going to do this now. So I got the midnight in there. We got the flavor pack in there. Now I'm gonna melt my sugar in there. And uh, what I do is I take the sugar and I put a bunch in here. And then I put I get the water pretty warm. I put the warm water in there. And then I'll use this, because it's been sterilized already. This has already been sterilized, so I'll use it. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of mix the sugar and dissolve it into the water. And I'll keep on doing that same process till I finish that four pound bag of sugar and I get it in there. Then I'll mix it all up. As you can see. Okay. some more sugar in here. And do the same process to I finish. Yeah, I mean you're gonna have to add water anyway to get it up to my Six gallon mark right here. That little uh, black mark we have. Now I'm gonna put this back in here and I'm gonna stir this up. Stir it up. Now you can use a a drill and a little degasser uh, wand that you can buy. I made my own degasser little wand, but you don't really need to do this for this. This is stirred up. Where the spoon comes with the kit, and that uh, works great. You just stir it on up. I'll stir it a few minutes with that sugar in it. And go back around and do it some more. And I'm gonna stir it again a little while because we're gonna add some more water to it to get it up to the mark, the little level that I need it to be for the, the wine making process to, to work. And as you can see, we have filled it up to the mark. You notice it's a little bit higher than the mark, it's not a big deal because sometimes I put it a little bit higher than the mark because it'll evaporate a little bit. But um, I use two bags of yeast right here. 
and I'm fixing to open this one up. And just sprinkle it on top. You don't have to stir it. Don't stir it. Just put the yeast on top and let it go. A bag of yeast in here. And I'm fixing to sprinkle it on the next one. As you can see, just sprinkle it around here. And like I said, I put two bags of yeast, two uh, packets of yeast, packets of yeast, because um, I added the sugar to it. And I wanted to uh, go ahead and ferment all the sugar, break it down to alcohol. So now what we're gonna do, and we'll put the top on, and I've already sterilized everything. Um, we'll put the top on it. And then I'll put this twin bubble airlock, twin bubble airlock, and I'll put some block into it about right here, about midways, halfway. Lock it from here to here. And it, what it does, it keeps it sterilized. It'll burp from the yeast. And then uh, the vodka will keep it clean, sterilized. So that's what we're fixing to do right now. And I'll put some vodka in and we'll be done. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the Shark Channel. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.